Uh, number one, Pope Francis. Yeah, I mean, no question there. The man is transforming the largest institution on the planet um, with humility, with inclusiveness, and by the way, it's helping the bottom line of the Catholic Church. Donations way, way up. People uh, are following this I man. It's it. about leadership. Even and on Catholic, you center. That's giving. right. Yep. And exactly. Angela Merkel, who is, is for the most part running the EU, what she's done has been remarkable. Mm -hmm. She's managed a debt crisis while Germany remains solvent. She's conservative economically, but even helping Greece uh, get out of the ditch. That's right. Nine years she's been basically the titular head of Europe and the economy is picking up and it's the largest economy on the planet, bigger than the United States and bigger what than What a China. surprise. She just barely won. Uh, she just barely beat Schroeder back nine years ago, but she has become the dominant force of Europe and probably the world's most powerful leader. Right. And, and you know, the thing is, is that, well, we'll talk about the world's leaders, but um, she really has kind of united all of Europe behind her. She really has. Uh, number three, Alan Mulally. He is, of course, yeah. The CEO of Ford. I mean, what this guy, job. I was telling Harold, I could follow this guy around all day. I mean, have you ever hung out with Alan Mulally? He's the so guy nice. oozes charisma. He's but great. He's we love him. He really guy. is. And he's a great leader. I mean, look what he's done at Ford. He's now sharing the spoils of victory with the auto workers. It's just an incredible job. All right, so number Thomas. four, the Oracle of Omaha, Warren Buffett. Yeah, I mean, everyone knows about Warren Buffett. 300,000 people work for Berkshire Hathaway now. It's the fifth most valuable company in the world. But the other thing people don't realize, the line to his door, public sector, private sector leaders seeking advice from that man is constant that's leadership hmm okay and number five Bill Clinton Bill Clinton I mean you know he chose to stay in the public spotlight after he was president what he's done with malaria and AIDS with his foundation with CGI North Korea doing all these things putting himself out there when he didn't have to and uh, you know people love to hear him speak okay. but CGI gave him that platform mm -hmm. to get back the legacy that he wanted that he didn't really receive from being in office. I think that's right. But look what he's done with, you know, President George H.W. Bush. I mean, mm -hmm. doing things together with him, reaching across the aisle. That's huge now. Notwithstanding the president, but is there a more credible U.S. leader on the global stage, you think, than, than Bill Clinton? No, I mean, I think that's that's a really so, good way of putting it. I but didn't even think you just that. said, notwithstanding the president, I see but, the Dalai but, but, but the president, the president's not on Bono, the list. I see Jeff Bezos. Let's talk, right. let's talk about their Jeter's on the list. He right. brings up the president of the United States. Why is the president Come excluded? On, the president's not on the list. And I'll tell you, we had no intention of excluding the president of the United States, just in the same way we had no intention of excluding Speaker Boehner or... or um, Paul Rand or Cruz or Rubio or Ryan or any of these people. None of these people are on the list, okay? Right. Uh -huh. We put together a list uh, initially of, say, 75, 100 people, and all of a sudden we realized that none of these politicians were on the list. We had so many exciting And why is that? Well, because they're not leading people. I mean, there's no quantitative measure, Joe, for leadership, but if approval ratings were included, that would be pretty What's close. It, it, to it, it, it's not even a There's no approval rate. But, but let me ask you: When's mm -hmm. the last time you heard somebody say in a boardroom mm -hmm. across America, "Hey, you know what? We need to follow Barack Obama's lead on running I, I, an institution." We don't hear that right? very you often. You just don't hear it. No. In fact, you go from boardroom to boardroom to boardroom. You talk to ambassadors, and they're just wondering where the leadership skills are. I, counter, and Mika, you, you disagree. I'm I do. Well, the I, counter I think to that would be, like, I mean, the, the, we see Ford on there, so Alan Mulally, yeah. obviously, with the bailout for at least... <laughs> well, he didn't get any money. That. He didn't get money, but I'm talking about leadership was given to bail out GM and other American car companies. Uh, so he's demonstrating leadership I think in you that guys made it. I, I'm with, sorry, this seems mm -hmm. like a concerted effort today. not to put him on the list. No, it's not like that at all, Mika. In fact, I was saying we were about a third of the way through the process and these people and again these people being Speaker Boehner mm -hmm. and also Paul Ryan and the President of the United States did not come up we talked to dozens dozens of people we hashed this out over and over and over again and they they're not on the list maybe next year they'll be on the list let's talk but about this number year they're six. not on the list let's talk mm -hmm. about number six Aung San Suu Kyi as uh, Harold Ford and I were just <laughs> discussing her the other day the head um, of Burma. Yeah, the head of Burma. This is a person who gave up a life of luxury, um, or at least uh, certainly a, a good life in Britain, and then she's been under house arrest for two decades, leading that country, Burma, now Myanmar. Pretty incredible. Yeah, that is. Number seven. General Joe Dunford. This is uh, the Marine commander who's the head of the troops in Afghanistan. Um, and he was nominated by uh, George Casey of the Army, kind of unusual, an Army guy, I guess, a Marine guy. He talks about leadership and says there's three rules of leadership. Number one, surround yourself with great people. And I forgot what two and three were. 
I mean, this guy, and he's incredible. You should have him on the show. Number he's one's incredible. a great, great, great. Number eight, though, is somebody that has been teased to come on the show. Yeah. Bono. Yeah, he's fantastic. You know, I mean, and, you as know, a leader, right? He is fantastic. Using this is, his celebrity. This is another person who uses his celebrity, as you said, Tom, and uses his charisma. And this is a person that has, you know, spent a lot of time trying to do good for the world. Besides wearing some cool glasses and doing incredible. <laughs> That's concerts, important. You know, and yeah, exactly. So, you know, we had some fun there, but pop culture icons. There's sports people on the list as well. Number nine, Dalai Lama. Another religious leader, and uh, you know, boy, what can you say? This is someone who stood up to China. And by the way, Xi Jinping's not on the list either. So the leader of the free world's not on the list. Right. The leader of the unfree world's not on the list. Vladimir Putin's not on the list either. Jeff Bezos is ten. We've talked about him a lot here. It's mm -hmm. remarkable what he's done. I like number twelve a lot. Jeffrey Canada. Talk mm -hmm. about Jeffrey. Harlem Children's Zone. What an incredible job he's done. Um, sort of taking over blocks in Harlem and kind of adopting the entire community, the kids in those neighborhoods, and just seeing that they're achieving and striving and moving forward year after year after year. An incredible endeavor, to right? To put it in the context of today's kids and young people, he's the uber of, of education, such mm. a disruptive kind of way to think about and the right way to think about education. I'm glad he made the list. Mika, you like Malala, number 34? I love this. This, this, this young yep. right. woman at this point is one of the most beautiful symbols of our time. And you get to know her, and she's not someone who's propped up in light of what has happened to her she lives it she is it there are a few people in this world that hold the kind of soul she has no that's right and standing up to the Taliban I mean that's just personal courage yeah you know, the leadership is like you're standing up to people who are gonna shoot you kill you find your relatives I mean that is courage that's leadership and then you hear her talk and there's more there's right. more and yep. there's more about the education of young women about power about um, elegance about beauty she embodies Strength. it all all right we've got to go but really quickly uh, inside JC Penney's meltdown what, yeah, tell us about it. Um, well, J.C. Penney, of course, is uh, a company that tried to turn itself into Apple. I mean, they hired Ron Johnson, who ran Apple stores, and Ron came in and said, it's very simple. We can just go like this, and we can make it like an Apple store. And, you know, forgetting that the customer base is completely different. They've got hundreds of thousands of employees who are used to working at this kind of old, fusty place. Um, you know, and it's just not that easy, but the board mismanagement is incredible. The infighting, the lack of leadership yeah. um, is truly amazing. It's all about the L word at some point, the right? The acronym branding of JCP and trying to change it to be a little hipper, a little cooler. Right. Yeah. And, and, you know, you can move the needle at these big companies, and we see that all the time, but you can't just flip it on a dime and just borrow billions of dollars and try to do these things as well. All right, Andy Serra, thank you very much. Fascinating. Thank you, Andy. Thank you guys. I don't agree with everyone on your list or who's not on it, but it's, I hear you. it's, it's you've got That's what these lists are for, right? Yes, We're for talking. some debate. Exactly. We're talking. We're talking. Right. Think about the we'll colonel next year. Andy. Oh, good. The well, colonel well, I would like to have a side <laughs> meeting. You, 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 you missed yeah. the colonel, right? It's a very quiet yes, leadership. Yes, you did. Yes, quiet, sir. Very it's muted. It's a quiet string. <laughs> Look at those eyes. John Meacham could talk to that cat. Yeah, she'd fall asleep. All right, we're looking Looking uh, now at the new issue of Fortune magazine, which has Bill Clinton on the cover. Nothing to do with selling magazines. Mm -hmm.